Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and Microsoft MVP in Business Applications in Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. Today in this video, I will tell you how we can work with progressive web apps for Power Portals. You know about progressive Power Apps, right? Progressive web apps. We can design any web application to behave like a native application that we are working with any with any device like in windows you can have many apps like you can download your apps from your uh, microsoft store in mobile you can uh, you can see here the mobile in mobile also you have many apps here right so these are the apps that you can install in your mobile application right so how we can convert the power portal as an app or native app in devices whether it is a laptop or desktop or it is mobile and we can get the experience of native app for our power portal right so let us go and check how we can do that so this is my portal management app and this is the portal studio right microsoft has introduced progressive web app configuration for power portals if you see here at the last portion it is given progressive web apps you can enable any power portal for progressive web app configuration right now to enable progress progressive web apps configuration for power portal click on this toggle button this toggle button will enable your power portal as an progressive web app so it's kind of you know it will behave like a native app for your device right so you will not feel that you are browsing some you know, you know website or you are working on some browser whether you are interacting with a native app so you can uh, once you enable that you can customize the pwa progressive web app by you you can give a title here let's say i want to give sub chief uh, support app and here you can define the description right in the right side and you can define what is the starting page of your app because as because you might have you know multiple pages in your power portal you can choose what will be your starting page right you can choose at contact contact page then the contact page will be contact us page will be the starting page right next the color of your background you can choose which background color you want for your app right now next thing is the logo by default the logo is displaying like this but if you want to upload a logo whose size is 512 512 pixel then you can upload it you can use uh, photoshop also to create this logo uh, with this size but i don't want to create a logo right now but if you have you can upload the icon so that it will be changed next is offline behavior in the offline behavior you can choose which pages which web pages from your portal need to display in read only mode when you are offline when the customers are offline you can choose manage offlines and choose which pages you want to avail in offline mode in read only mode so click on i want home page and contact us to be available in offline so i have chosen that and my work is done so I, the pwa is configured for my uh, for my power portal next offline message there is a concept offline message whenever you are working with a uh, power portal pwa or uh, progressive web app then when you are going offline it will show this message right and this screen it will display so you can uh, change the screen also let's say uh, you want to give some message please check your internet connection or Wi-Fi whatever right so you can add more uh, information here also as per your need then now you have designed the offline message and you have enabled the enable PWA toggle button and you have customized the PWA, uh, uh, PWA or progressive web app configurations now you are ready to check this right 
now there are other options also app package if you are you know you can deploy your uh, power portal pwr progressive web app in your you know play store google play store or uh, app store um, your iphone or um, apple app store or windows store that you can also uh, upload this app as a uh, mobile app so that users can download the app from the play store and they can install as a uh, native app for your mobile so this way you can create an app i will create some video next time how to create an app package and how to update android certificate for your app so that you can deploy this as an mobile app in play store okay now let us see click on browse website i want to see what is the difference between the normal web portal or power portal and the pwa portal right it will remain same right you will see this looks like a web page but here we will mark the changes at the address bar you will see there is a button called as install subchip portal once you click this a an app will install in your machine so click on install now you will see the app is installed for me so now this is the app okay so this is not uh, running from your browser rather this is running from your uh, machine as a native app right and here the app icon is available in the desktop like you install any software that installs in your machine and uh, now you can interact with as per your need but the behavior or the experience is like native app right so that is the beauty of progressive web app design and you will feel like you are working with a app rather than a website right now if you close this also you can open this using this icon so this icon will give you the option to open your app so this is like native app and if you want to uninstall you can uninstall here you can so this is my subject portal uh, app icon i can uninstall also right so this will uh, give you a app experience native app experience uh, that you can use now let us let us see how it will behave for a mobile application right so this is my mobile and here let's say i'm trying to open the power portal okay i will open the uh, browser google chrome and search the link subchi portal dot power apps portal as soon as you load this you will observe a notification at the bottom part add subchi portal this one right add subchi portal to home screen if you click things click this it will ask you do you want to install the app yes click on install now it will install the app to your home page now if i'll go here i can see the subchi portal is installed can you see that so this is the app that is installed you can see here this is the app that is installed in my mobile now i can click this now it will open in a native app experience now it is not like you know it's not looking like running from browser it is looking like it's running from um, a mobile app right so this is the revolution it is changing the revolution how you interact with your uh, power portal using a native app experience right so now this app you can also uninstall okay like other apps right so you understand how this uh, native web apps works as an app and this is the design of progressive app design right let me do one thing let me switch off the uh, uh, let me disconnect the internet let us see how it looks like now if i'll disconnect the internet then let me do one thing i want to disconnect this one now okay i will show you that in some time but if you disconnect the internet then it will show uh, let me disconnect from here
so I will go to here and try to disconnect if you disconnect it will display this screen right as I have already told you the offline screen try installing this PWA power portal in your machine in your mobile app and try to disconnect your uh, uh, internet and you will see this message okay so thank you guys i hope you understand what is the pwa that are going to change your power portal to a native app you can package your application by clicking this create and package which will open the pwa builder here you can package your app for windows store android store and also apple store right so you can create your package and install in google console or app store right so thank you for your time to watching this video see you next time in next video sure bye